Hi friends, welcome to another tutorial of Learn Loadrunner series. In this video, we are going to see about mapping and traffic filtering in Vuegen. First, we will see what is mapping and filtering and we are going to see what are the options available in Vuegen and then we will see a quick demo. So mapping and traffic filtering always helpful if you face any issues when recording. So what you do is you have to instruct the Vuegen you have to mention the ports, you have to select what kind of level of data you have to capture and what URL needs to be recorded, what needs to be excluded. So those details you have to configure in these options and then Vuegen will follow your rules and then it will capture the network traffic uh, for your application. Very basic question in the interview is what is the difference between socket level capture and uh, win inet level capture? Win inet level capture is the proprietary framework by Microsoft and it is the way of accessing the HTTP and FTP resources. So basically they have focused on Windows operating system and the browser is Internet Explorer. And it uses Win inet DLL to communicate with the network card and it may not emulate the modem speed and number of connections and also it will yield more, more uh, uh, replay transaction time and it is not scalable. So if you have an application and if you are focusing on only on Windows operating system with very minimum uh, number of virtual users, then you can go for win 9 But on the other way, socket. So socket level data capturing is the proprietary framework by Microfocus and it's very, very lighter engine to communicate with the network card. It is scalable and also it supports non-Windows operating systems. So if you have a non-Windows operating system as a load generators, then you have to use socket level data. By default, Vuegen always go by socket, but if you want to go with the blend of win inet and socket, definitely you can select this option in the uh, mapping options in Vuegen. Now we will see how to avoid unnecessary um, traffic captures uh, during recording. Example, if your application has a lot of ads or if, you, if the browser has lo a lot of add-ons, what you, what the the default behavior of Vuegen is, it will capture everything. It will capture ads, it will capture the uh, mouse movements, if there are any APIs like Mixpanel or uh, Analytics, so it will capture everything. But if you see your script uh, after recording, it will be messy. So. Assume that you don't have the option uh, to filter out the traffic. What you do is you have to go through each line manually and you need to comment it out. You need to delete the request. So it will take your time and uh, it will delay your scripting activity. But if you're using traffic filtering effectively, then you can uh, save a lot of time and it will capture only the relevant requests and your script will look optimal. Okay. Now we will see a quick demo how to use uh, the socket or win on it and also about traffic filtering. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, create a, a new script and solution. Select web HTTP HTML and click on create. So now click on recording options and select the browser as Chrome. And before that, make sure that in the recording options, you are using the uh, default uh, stuffs. So right now by default, uh, it goes to socket level data. Click on OK and click on start recording. So what it will do is it will open uh, Google Chrome and then it will launch the application. So I have intentionally enabled a lot of add-ons and we generally capture everything. And there are two ways of uh, filtering those requests. We will see uh, the, the uh, how to filter out the unwanted traffic. So now in the other, other monitor, okay, I'll just drag and drop here. Okay, so it launched the page and if you could see the events are still increasing. So I'm going to stop it right away and I'm going to close the browser. So now Vuegen is being uh, generating the script and it's performing the post generation operations. 
so now i'm going to click on action and here you could see so this is my the main request but there are a lot of requests being captured by vuegen which we do not want in our script so the number one way to filter out these traffic is using recording report so recording report is only available uh, i think it is starting from 12.55 i guess so in recording report uh, you can exclude and include the urls which you want to generate in the script so in this case i'm going to uncheck all the urls which i do not want to see it in my script so i have unchecked it and i'm going to click on regenerate so once i click on yes what will happen is vuegen will regenerate the script and then it will keep the the main url and then it will remove the other uh, requests so go to action.c now you can see only one request so other way is to use the traffic filtering so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check back all the resources here and i'm going to regenerate so that it will go back to the uh, the old mode the old script where i can see all the uh, requests okay now we will see the another way of uh, ruling out the traffic so go to record click on regenerate script and then uh, click on options it is not displaying somehow okay so now in the script you can see the line number 27 has googleapis.com and similarly line number 41 also googleapis.com so what we have to do is we have to rule out the uh, traffic of uh, googleapis.com in the uh, traffic filtering uh, options so go to mapping and filtering and click on new entry under traffic filtering and enter star dot googleapis.com and select all ports and select code generation and click on okay and make sure that the option is checked here then click on okay and okay again so now vuegen will uh, exclude the googleapis.com request in the script so now the script has been regenerated and you can see no more googleapis.com similarly you can add other uh, requests url in the traffic filtering options to exclude from the script and if you go to regenerate script again so at the top you can see the capture level so by default vuegen uses socket level and if you select socket level data you can select the network level uh, address mappings and if you click on new entry you can customize so basically you can enter your uh, server name the port and service id and also uh, uh, whether you are going to record via proxy or direct and the connection type so if it is ssl you can mention the client side certificate and uh, proxy server certificate etc and if you click on update you can see your uh, entry here and you can delete your entry and you can delete your entry edit your entry and delete your entry and also if you click on options further you can customize the log level and other stuffs and you can have multiple entries and if you select win net so you will uh, all the options will be disabled because win net doesn't uh, use any ports it just uses the win net dll file uh, to talk to the network card and if you want to use the blend of both of course you can select socket level and win net level and you can mention the port and other details so these two options is very very important if you are facing any such issues when uh, recording your application and once you click on okay the appropriate uh, settings uh, will apply to your script and then it will uh, we can see the updated script in the action.c file so make sure that uh, what kind of application you are recording and uh, if you are using purely windows based stuff then definitely you can go for win net and uh, it is not scalable only you can use minimal number of uh, users so make sure that uh, your uh, load is very very low and if you select socket level definitely it is scalable you can use unlimited uh, number of virtual users uh, to load your uh, application and also it is uh, uh, by default it goes by socket so most people will be using socket level data and if you are not capturing then people might be using both the modes and make sure that you are uh, using the traffic filtering options from the recording report and also you can use it from the uh, traffic filtering uh, entries 
so i hope this video is pretty useful and uh, please subscribe to q insights uh, channel and also subscribe to q insights podcast for more such tips and tricks and if you have time please go to my next tutorial thanks Thank you.